Hey guys, what up, what up? Welcome back to Kiari Lady Boss channel. Today we're gonna talk about American slangs. A lot of people ask me about this video. They wanted to know what are the common words that we use in New York and in the United States. This is something that I really, really like and enjoy. So I want to share with you the best American words that we use. For today, I decided to have a guest, a friend of mine, he's from Jersey. His name is Steve and he's gonna help us out to understand some of the American slangs. Come with us. Hey Steve, what's up? What up? Just Definitely. trying to uh, stay sane in this coronavirus quarantine currently. Yes, we are. How is everything with you? What's good? Good. Sun came out today, so I can't complain too much. Just trying to catch up on some TV shows and trying to uh, bridge the gap between the uh, America and outside the America and things that we like to say. Well, let's start this video. So he's my friend, Steve, AKA Stuff. Do you want to tell everyone why we call each other Stuff and Stuff? And what does Stuff mean? Let's start with getting deep into the word. Yes, yeah, so Kiara and I met and we were out and about, didn't really feel the need to exchange uh, each other's first names. So we just decided to call each other stuff, which is just a, you know, here it's a generic way to, to basically call anything. Your stuff is, you know, all your luggage, your stuff is your groceries in a bag. It's pretty much just like a group of anything. When we said hi to each other, we actually used a question that it's very common to use right here. Oh what? yeah, uh, what's up? is a good one. What's good? What's new? It's pretty generic. Normally when somebody asks that, they're not asking for your life story, mm -hmm. not asking for a positive and a negative. What's good? What's bad? It's just kind of a interaction. Typical answer, yeah. Typical answer is, is, Hey, not much. What's up with you? Okay. Um, people like to hear it back. It's a question that you ask to answer briefly and then kind of ask the same question back to kind of start a conversation. I feel that. You feel that. What do you mean? I mean that I know what you mean. Yeah, totally. That's straight as we like to say or that's Gucci, that's good, that's what I want to hear, or that's okay with me. And I feel like that's Gucci has been kind of more of a hip hop kind of phrase. Okay, something else I wanted to share is the word word. How do we use word and what does that mean? Word, it's either an agreement, meaning, hey, uh, I hear you or I get it or that's cool with me. Could be synonymous with true, which is another thing that we just say. If you say, hey, it's rainy out and I say true or I say word, I'm just acknowledging the fact that I heard you and I agree with you. Yeah, I use it a lot and I hear it a lot. Hey, my bad, sorry. I just had to go get a glass of water real quick. Oh, it's okay. What do you mean by my bad? My bad is like, I'm sorry. Just means that, you know, the fault is on me. Pretty common, non-formal as well. We also use that to say, that's my fault. That's my mistake. Also, something else we use all the time is 24 seven. Yeah, 24 seven is all day, every day, 24 hours in a day, seven days in a week, nonstop. Hey, how are you? Uh, I've been working 24 seven. Obviously the human body cannot run for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but it's just kind of an exaggeration, meaning a lot time consuming or the majority of my time. You know, hey, we all had plans to go. Rather than me saying, hey, I'm, I'm beat. I don't want to come. Maybe I just ghost you guys. Ghosting means you were in touch before and then you're no longer in touch. You're not responding. You're not calling. You're not texting. Ghosting is uh, fairly a popular word in the dating scene lately. Ghosting. Uh, and if you think about it, you, you say I'm you know, ghosting or being ghosted because you somebody's not there anymore. They just disappear. A more formal way is MIA, traditional war term actually for missing in action. We use it pretty regularly in terms of, oh, where's Kiara? Oh, she's MIA. Meaning that either A, maybe you heard from her and, she, and you know that she's not coming or B, kind of ghosted everybody. She's MIA, she's not responding to her normal actions. Yes. If you don't show up or you don't call somebody, that's pretty much an epic fail. Epic is kind of a big word in the last, I guess, five years or so, Epic is just enunciating the idea of mass proportion, something being huge, whether it be victory, loss, whatever. Could be a disaster, Epic fail. Yeah, exactly. But also, related to Epic, I would use some other words like awesome, dope, cool, rad. Something that's super fun, super intriguing. Yeah, I use awesome all the time. Or we can also say, when you're asking me, how was the party? You can say that was cool, that was awesome, that was rad. 
good. Yeah, a really good time. Something that you enjoyed. Let's move on to the next one. Hang out is something that we use a lot. Hang out. Also, you could use chill. These are just spending time with somebody else, not really doing too much. You could be doing something. You could be doing nothing. Hey, if my friend's going to come over and we're going to watch TV, yeah. we're hanging out. We could be at a restaurant getting drinks. We're hanging out. Can mean just chilling, which would mean not doing a lot, relaxing, or it could mean we're together or we're yeah. spending time together. And related to that, if someone would ask me, do you want to hang out tonight? I could say I'm down for that, meaning yeah. I want to hang out. I want to do that. Yeah, I'm down means is a, is a positive affirmation of whatever you want to do. I'm down for that. Let's do that. Yeah, that sounds good is another way to say that. Actually, when I came to the States in 2008, right, I was in California for a month and I was uh, hanging out with these guys that I met in Leeds when I used to live in the UK. And we all drove to Vegas and Grand Canyon. And that's yeah. where I learned how to shotgun. Oh, sure. That's, yeah, so that's one of my favorite words, to be honest with you. So shotgun in the literal sense is a gun. Two ways to use it. Shotgun is sitting in the front seat of the car. There's often competition between people for some reason, probably to control the music. And you would say, uh, I'm going to call shotgun, meaning I want to sit in the front seat. You can also say just shotgun before jumping into the car. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, totally. Or I'm a little bit old now, but when college, you could shotgun a beer, which means you'd in essence take a can of beer, crack it open in the side, you'd open the top and then you drink it all. So once once that airflow opens from, from cracking the can, you just chug it all and that's called really? shotgun beer. I've yeah, never so, heard that before. Um, part of the more aggressive American university drinking okay. days. Let's move on to the next word. A word that we use in New York City. You don't use it so much, I believe, but stooping, the word stooping that comes from stoop. Stoop, yeah. So growing up, you always talked about like stoop kids. I mean, a lot of places around New York City, New Jersey, you have uh, any kind of urban area. You have a stoop or what, you know, a concrete front porch. Chilling on the stoop is just hanging out. You could be eating dinner. You could be smoking a cigarette. You could be drinking a beer, but stoop or stooping just refers to chilling on the front porch, holding down the neighborhood, keeping an eye on things. Yeah. What else do we have for today? Uh, you owe me some bucks for this, I think, though. You think so? Why? The bucks is like, uh, is it's just a slang word for, for money, bucks. You'd call a dollar a buck. Let's show what's a buck. Yeah, that's a buck. So I'd like a hundred bucks. If I can only get a buck, that's cool. But I think that bucks actually originates from the colonial time period when they were using buck skins as a form of currency for trading. And now it's still used. Yeah, I think I never used dollars. I pretty much used bucks. Yeah. Something else yeah. we use all the time is cops instead of police. <laughs> yeah, cops is of... I don't know how you would describe that even. That's, I, I don't really call them police, I call them cops. I don't know why, you could also call them 5-0. 5-0 was an original designation of like a lookout of like a legal activity going on for them to say like, hey, there's there's cops around, there's police around. So you'll hear a decent amount of people say 5-0, you'll hear it in rap songs, things like that. That just means that there's police activity. 5-0. Okay. Correct. Do you say that for real? Yeah, so for real is often like a, just a reiteration of something that, that you actually mean or- we say for real most yeah or a, or a question of disbelief if you tell me a story and you say hey this happened last night and i'm gonna be like for real that means really or did that actually happen most yeah. times i'm not questioning if that actually happened it's more of a wow that's crazy that's crazy right yeah we use for real most of the times to say that's crazy or that's weird that's weird it could be another word what does weird mean to you yeah weird is eccentric strange strange yeah just something that's not normal again the the definition of normal is pretty subjective to begin with. The last few words that I wanted to point out today are booze and bay. What is a booze? Booze. Booze is alcohol. It could be beer. It could be hard alcohol. Anything to drink, really. Any kind of liquor. Liquor, beer, wine. Going to a, to a bar, obviously they have booze. If you're having a dinner party, hey, do you want me to bring booze? That means do yeah. you want me to bring alcohol? Do you want me to bring drinks? Do you want me to bring wine? And something I wanted to bring up is BYOB. A lot of places in New York City do bring your own booze, meaning that you can actually bring your drinks. Yeah, BYOB, it means bring your own alcohol. It means that there's, a, you know, either A, if you're going to a business establishment, it means that they're licensed for you to be able to consume alcohol, but not them sell it. Or BYOB, hey, I'm having 20 people over. I'm going to cook for everybody, but I'm not trying to spend $300 yeah. on alcohol. So BYOB. Yeah. And last word I wanted to share today is bay. Which I believe means before anyone else. It's pretty yeah. popular. Or you 
you could say like my boo, which means, yeah. you know, you could refer to your boyfriend, girlfriend as that, just somebody you're hanging out with, somebody that you like, somebody of interest, somebody that you really value, somebody that you're going to put in front of a lot of other people. Cool. Thank you. Do you have a favorite word? Probably word. Word uh, is your favorite word? I feel like I use that as an acknowledgement a lot. And yeah, I feel like it's a comfort word for me. Cool. Just stuff. All right. That's what I got for you so far. You know, I, I've been living in New York City, New Jersey for pretty much my whole life. So hopefully this will allow you, you know, your followers to uh, be better acquainted once they get to the mean streets of New York. Um, to, <laughs> or United uh, States. Yeah, or the United States to, uh, you know, converse a little bit better and uh, happy to do some more of this. I feel like I'm one of the best resources to be talking about American slang, although I am professionally yeah. polished. I do enjoy yeah, a, a yeah. bit of slang here and there. Thank you, Steph. All right, cool. Bye. Bye. Uh, talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Yeah. Hope you guys liked the video as much as I did. Please let me know below in the comments. I'm expecting a lot of thumbs up. I will bring other videos like this on the channel and talk more about American slang and also British versus American language. So don't forget to subscribe, do it now, and I'll see you in my next vlog. From New York City, Chiari Lady Boss, that's all for today. Bye!